Hello again everyone. Well I'm back out in the garage and I've got another airbrush project to do. Belinda has asked if I can paint a bee so we're going to see if we can give it a go. I've got a nice be reference to work from there and uh, I've got myself the usual A4 sheet of steel with the tag welded on the back ready on the easel there. But the first thing I'm going to do I think is to use the other reference I've got to transfer using the graphite paper the design to the steel very faintly. So you can see there's really a uh, just a very faint outline there. Now what I'm thinking is is to start off with a sort of a base yellow colour and to fill these bits in. I'm not going to mask off the wings as yet because you can see the yellow does sort of bleed under the wings. So I'm going to leave masking them off till later. And uh, I don't think I'll do this bit either because that's much too pale. So I don't want any, anything too yellow on there. So I'm just going to do these little bits first, get them coloured in. And now I'm going to add a little bit of red to that yellow to sort of orange it up and sort of tone in these bits here. You can see I did decide just to put a bit of yellow on there just to uh, give it a start. But, uh, let's, let's do those little orangey bits. Now I am going to cut out the wings from my other uh, template picture and use them to mask off the wing bits while I spray the black, I think. And now I'm going to stick those on with my uh, high strength magnets. So uh, let's see if we can get them lined up nicely. should do. Right so let's uh, put some black in. Right, well I think that's enough for tonight. Hopefully we'll get back to that tomorrow. Well I do now have an Etsy shop where if you're interested you can buy some of my airbrush paintings. Just search in Etsy for TTXELA airbrush. I'll put a link in the description below as well.
Well, as you can perhaps tell, I'm struggling with the wings more than anything else. I was having a lot of tip dry and things were spattering and coming out a bit more than I really wanted them to. Couldn't quite get the fine lines, so I've been struggling with that a little bit, but I think I've got it about as best as I can. I also struggled to mix up the right sort of sepia orangey tone. Need to practice some uh, colour mixing a bit more. But I think now the thing is to go in with the white and put the highlights in and we'll see what it looks like after that. Well, there it is, the finished article. Not sure I'm so pleased with the wings, but uh, overall it's not too bad, especially from this distance, eh? Anyhow, let us know what you think in the comments below, especially if you spot something that I could have done better or a different technique I could have used. Well, there we go, there they are. I think it actually looks not too bad up there. That's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.